Inflation rate 7.7 previous. SPY is already starting to bounce. What is happening? The numbers must have been leaked. I mean, we're up now. We're up 7-1. 7-1. So it does come in much lower than expected. Dude, the numbers had to have leaked. Did you all see that? Even before 8.30 again, SPY started to rally. <laughs> wow. 7-1 and soar ring. I'm down 350 bucks in this account, but... I'm going to be up, I'm up at least 1500 in my investment account, so I'm quite happy with this. Here we go, chat. Expected or previous was 7.7. We just got 7.1. Once again, as I predicted, even lower than expected. And that is sexy. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Go ahead and hit it now. Cause TOS takes a second to fill. There you go. We are long 100 shares at 409.3162. To give you all the decimals we are in. You hit market buy. You get these crazy, obviously. It just fills as fast as it can. You get these decimals to the 10,000th. <laughs> all right. An immediate bounce in this trade, but obviously means nothing. Our sell condition's all the way up at 410.14. So still a ways to go. Let's see. Bye, bye, bye. Kramer must be over the moon today. <laughs> I mean, I think, every, I, think every, I think every investor is over the moon today, right? Yes, I'm down $250, but uh, let's refresh now. Oh, wait, I closed it. Crap. I was up over $1,000 just in my Fidelity account. And I have much more money in my 401k. But for whatever reason, does anybody else, can anybody else check their 401k? And like, does it show you a daily change? Or I guess I should ask this. Does anybody else have money in Nationwide? Because that's what my 401k is through. It doesn't show like daily change Nationwide, does it? But I'm obviously up a grip there too. <laughs> The gap, the gap up was not good for this account, but it is good for me. It is good for my money. Also, we're down 60 bucks in this trade now. This is starting to roll. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jake, did you exit that call? I said 411.50. Oh, 411.50 was where you're going to exit? Yeah, good luck. I hope this turns around for you then. I hope it turns around for both of us. <laughs> Hope it turns around for both of us now. <laughs> we are back work call. All good, mm, Shell. Wow, we're down a hundred dollars in this trade. Eh. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Spy, where are you going now, bud? Oh God, if this dumps, our stop loss isn't until three ninety six. Oh God. <laughs> oh lord did our sell condition move no this candle remains the same let's get a let's just get a big old v bottom here yeah let's get a let's get a bullish engulfing candle after this big red candle yeah, let's just rip it huh let's just rip it yeah <laughs> i feel like if you're using options for leverage and you hold it for more than a few minutes you're better off selling a put than buying a call Maybe. I mean, you have to back test that, right? There is no, there is no, f I feel like it's better. There is, it is or it isn't for your strategy. <laughs> it's why you have to back test and prove and journal and like. <laughs> I get, I mean, I'm not trying to say you shouldn't say that, but like in your trading, you shouldn't be saying, I feel like. <laughs> you should know, like, I know I should be getting in and out where I'm supposed to, according to this. Like, Damn, this is gross. This is what I was scared of. Our, st <laughs> Our stop loss is way down there. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get some kind of bounce to let us get out of this trade. Because obviously the, the, the strategy has a bit of a uh, trailing stop to it with the uh, top following itself down. But this is, uh, this is no bueno. This is gross. We're almost down $500 in the day. Wow. I've never seen $500 down since uh, starting to trade these strategies. Obviously, most of it comes from the overnight huge gap and the overnight short, but uh, this is gross. But what am I doing, chat? What am I doing? I'm staying disciplined to my strategy. If I get out of this trade where I'm supposed to, it's still a good trade. Right? Even if I lose a bunch of money on it. This strategy, I mean, every strategy has has uh, bad days, has bad trades. Like, 
This happens to be one of those trades. Uh, this happens to be one of those days so far for me where both of my strategies aren't working. <laughs> those are quite, quite typically the days where I lose the most money. So it's nice to have more than one strategy because they tend to offset each other, you know, until, the, until they don't, right? Until they don't. Until I lose money on the overnight short and then I lose money day trading too. It's like, oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Do you have a drawdown limit? Nope. Nope. Should maybe implement one, but I don't right now. The current strategy does not. I'm up, but I only have Amazon and Google stock. <laughs> oh, I'm still up on the day. Maybe that's why I'm still smiling. <laughs> if you consider my investments, I'm still flying today. This is just this is just this account, right? The, my day trading account is roughly one fifth of the money I have in the market. Like, the rest of my, the rest of my, you know, the rest of my market money is doing quite well today. So <laughs> maybe that's why I'm still smiling. <laughs> this is why I always preach to you all. Well, not this specifically, but I always preach to you all to invest too. Like, I get it. Trading. We're all going to, we're all going to buy a Lamborghini in our trading. I understand that, but please don't like just have all your money in trading. Like, please invest your money too. Like, <laughs> please. I preach that all the time. <laughs> The nice bounce. We're still down one hundred twenty dollars. This is a nice bounce. We are we are going to lose money in this trade now. We're looking to get out at a loss, but quite obviously, if we could get out here, it'd be way better than uh, having to hold all the way down to a stop loss, right? So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's go ahead and get the bounce. Eat our hundred dollar loss and move on with our day. Yeah, please. I'd be perfectly fine with that at this point, considering where we were. <clears throat> You put ten dollars every Friday in Amazon and Google. Nice, yeah. yeah. Put I put in uh I put in X amount of money every month into my investment account. Yeah. Wow! Don't roll again on me here. Come on, get me out of this trade. Get me out. <clears throat> right, Quaid. Say, get him out. Say, get my daddy out of there. <laughs> I'm getting a new roof today after Ian. Ugh, gross. Does uh does insurance cover that at all? Do you have hurricane insurance in Florida? Do they help do they help cover new roofs and stuff caused by hurricane damage? Yeah, they do. That's good at least. That's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean you have to pay for that insurance, but five thousand dollar deductible, gotcha. Roofs are damn expensive, though. <laughs> could be could be way worse, of course. Hey, you want the uh, you want the always seventy five degree weather in Florida? You gotta you gotta deal with replacing roofs on your house every couple of years from hurricanes. It's like <laughs> it's give and take, right? <laughs> when I walk out of my house today, I freeze my ass off, but at least I don't have to worry about hurricanes. Like, <laughs> when you walk out of your house you're probably still wearing shorts today <laughs> uh cell condition moves down another scotch wait where is it another scotch down to 40830 now <laughs> But I walk out with no shoes. Yeah, right. Quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's give and take, man. Everywhere you live's got some, got some pros, got some cons, right? <laughs> you live in Colorado. You can go skiing all year rounds, but you're cold. Can't go to the beach. Ah, <laughs> uh, spy. Would you like to just get me out of this trade, please? Let me, let me eat my $120 loss and let's move on with the rest of our day. See if, see if we get the next trade to work any better. The thing is, the funny thing is that if this continues to be weak, I'm going to continue buying. This strategy will continue buying as long as it's above the 300 SMA. That is one thing with this updated code. This updated, this like updated code does have like bigger swings. So it has bigger, it has bigger green days and it has bigger red days. What, what, what's the running joke around here, chat? Every time you change your strategy, the first day is always red. 
It's like, unfortunately, maybe we catch one of those bigger red days today, but, <laughs> but it does also have bigger green days. Like, told you we were going lower. Well, Trey, why didn't you sell? Doesn't matter. Still have to, still have to stay disciplined to the strategy. Doesn't matter what you think. Stock market doesn't move off what you're, doesn't care about what you think. Still got to stick to your plan. All you can do is stay disciplined to the strategy, even when it sucks like this. Even, even when it does suck like this, all you can do is stay disciplined to your strategy, right? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to say, stay disciplined to your strategy when it's making money, right? But even, even when it's losing money, you still, I mean, all you can do is stay disciplined to what you know makes money over time. <laughs> RSI stop loss still at 40. Nope. Stop loss is now uh, 300 SMA. If it breaks this, which sucks because it's all the way down here. <laughs> I will keep an eye on the RSI. I mean, shit, the RSI is still at 55. Like, even if that was my stop loss, we'd still be nowhere close to stopping out there either. <laughs> Run me down, spy. Put me down $700 on the day. <laughs> Let's go. Told you we were going lower. 250 down in this trade now. Down two and a half points since we've uh, longed all the way back up here now. It's all relative. Well, one day never matters, Telf. One day never matters. I don't care if I, I don't, even if I was up $1,000 today, it still wouldn't matter. Even, even green or red, one day doesn't mean anything. Like, <laughs> It's all about it's all about consistency over the lifetime of your trading career, right? Which is why, which is why it's so important you just stick to your system, stick to your plan. Margin call time. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not getting margin called in this trade. <laughs> Spy would have to go to 200 to margin call me. I will get stopped out before Spy goes to 200. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a death. What a death, spy. Roll me over, king. Roll me over, king. Just die. Just die. Let's just see. Can I lose $1,000 today? I can't. I could. Could lose $1,000 today. Stop loss is still at... Holy shit. Stop loss is still at 396. What the fuck? How is this thing not given just one bounce to get above some candles here? Like, <laughs> how can we not? How can we not get one bounce? Look how close we were. Uh, telling y'all how much the day is inside of my pennies. I could have made one hundred and forty dollars if this trade would have gone. If this candle would have gone three cents lower, I would have made one hundred and forty dollars here. If this would have bounced uh, eleven cents higher, I would have got out for one hundred fifty dollar loss. So I would have saved myself so far two hundred dollars. I'd be green on the day. I'd be green on the day if I took this trade and I got stopped out here. <laughs> oh, system trading is so frustrating sometimes when it's like that. <laughs> Dot Robin, hello. Game of pennies, yep. I'm a, I'm a combined 20, not even, like 18 cents away. I'm a combined 18 cents away from being green on the day. And instead, I'm down $670. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm current. I'm trying to get into investing. I currently don't have much of a clue. You got any advice for beginner? Recommended books or channels? I'm gonna get started because I don't want to go in blind. When you mean investing, you mean like literal investing? Like you just want to put your money in the stock market? That's easy. Just invest your money in the S and P. That's what I do with most of my money too, Marvel. I just invest it. Open a brokerage account, buy Spy or VOO, and there you go. Your money's invested in the stock market. If you want to get into trading, like active trading, there's a shitload of more that goes into that. Um, oh wait, I typed in education. I have a, uh, I have an education, uh, channel in my discord, which of course is free. Uh, that shows, um, wait, where is it? Oh, stocks education shows all the channels that I learned from books that I learned from, uh, in here. If you want to look, obviously, I mean, you can watch me. I trade live here in front of you every day. Obviously, <laughs> obviously I show you everything. I don't, I don't hide when I'm taking bad trades. I still see my P and L you still see my positions. Like, Obviously, if if I am one thing, it's transparent, right? Like, <laughs> if you want to learn, you know, you can just hang around, hang on around here. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> 
And I'm back like I never left. What's up, VMI? VMI, it's your first day here, and it's my biggest red day ever. So far, so far. Let's see, let's see if Spy, let's see if Spy can turn around today. And if it doesn't, then I won't take any more trades. If Spy keeps continuing to be weak, then I won't take any more trades. But if it can turn around, let's see, let's see. You know, this is just kind of the initial pullback from this huge pump. And then we're going to continue later, and maybe I can make this money back. Let's not blame this. <laughs> yeah, it's VMI Shell. It's your first day joining. Your first day joining is my biggest red day ever. Uh, coincidence? Coincidence? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I'll join the Discord for sure. Yeah, I think the education section is very helpful. I mean, that's those are the channels that help me. And the, the, the book that helped me is in there as well. And PDF version. All right, we're close here. We're getting a bounce. Can I get out? This actually is a $100 bounce, by the way. I was just down over $700. If I get out here, we just made 100 bucks in the end of this trade. Don't complain yet. 24-7, never asking for a rain check. Okay, it literally got it literally got to one penny from getting me out. All right, if this rolls, if this rolls now, it's rigged. <laughs> if this rolls now, it's rigged. Oh, the sell order actually goes up a couple pennies. Ah, dude, TOS stop lagging. Jesus. We go up a couple pennies there because we got within 10 cents of the sell. So we actually go up and we are. Oh, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> Yo, I got one cent away here. Got one cent away here. Twice one cent. There's no fucking way. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. Chat, you guys want to see a trader lose his mind live on camera? Nah, it'll get there. It'll get there. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Just let me hear the ding. Let me hear the ding. Play the ding. Play the ding. All right, fuck you. I'm exiting this trade. I can't. I, my own mental can't take it. I exited that trade three cents early. I apologize, chat. Uh, okay. No, okay, now I would have gotten out. <laughs> That's actually... That's actually quite nice, you know. That's actually quite nice, you know. I mean, yes, it's still a big loss, but we were down over 700 here. We just made $120. Made. We made $122 on the end of that. That's quite nice. <laughs> That's copium. Copium out the ass, bro. I'm down $583. Hey, but at least I got a bounce. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. There we go. There's a uh, huge red trade chat. Got in, got in, obviously, at uh, 409.39. I got out. Where did I get out? I'll show you all my monitor window, too, of course. The transparency showing you all everything. 100 shares in 409.31.62. Out at 406.0301. Blech. 